Okay, so this is actually named after a Portuguese poet from, uh, he was in Macau in 1789. And I'm gonna put some pictures up just so you can kind of uh, get an idea. He was even on the currency in Macau was, or in Portugal as well. So I'm gonna put a picture of that. And just to kind of give you some idea, um, the street that we're on has a ton of artwork. So we're gonna capture some of that as well. This is that on a bocage, bocage. Oh, look how cool that. That one it looks so cool up there, that blue one. So actually our target street is gonna be this one. So let me put up some pictures and then you can um, capture what this looks like before we actually walk down it. So stay tuned. This is gonna be Hub de Bukaji and here's some photos of uh, the poet and also of the currency and some extra information. Documenting the city, seeing what it looks like in 2024. Come on, join me. Okay, so we got Bokaji, got a little bit of traffic, we got some of this kind of cool stuff. As you know, we got a lot of traffic. We're gonna get into some artwork, it looks like we had a little bit of a traffic jam at the moment. And we also have that interesting building right there, that blue one. I did film that not too long ago. And we're just gonna walk down our street. We got some artwork down here and we're going towards Sun Sun Park. So, um, so yeah, Bocage, um, Portuguese poet. He was here in 1789 and um, he saw some pictures, but you probably don't know much about him yet. But basically, this particular artist, he, um, sorry, he's a poet. So this particular poet, he basically followed in the footsteps of Camões. So Camões was the more famous, most famous poet of Portugal. And uh, Bocage definitely is as well, but he followed the, the path. So he also went to Macau, Goa, India, which was Portuguese. He went to um, Brazil. That's actually kind of a well-known, that little um, spot right down that way. So that... Bukaji is kind of a small street, so, so I'm basically... Um, want to capture this a little bit as well. We have that interesting building. Let me just go down a little bit closer. And we're going to um, capture that. But that's right off this Bukaji as well. Okay. This is kind of cool. What's this? has some interesting stuff. It will pass like a ship of the night unless your campaign contains a big idea. Wow. That's actually one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It will pass like a ship of the night unless your campaign campaign contains a big idea. And then actually it's like marketing website goal plan do you think? So they're basically like marketing your plan. And then this one has a nice little thing too social media okay I just saw somebody come out of that alley so I think this is probably an apartment building Let me just take a look in here real quick sometimes there's all these little side streets and such as well Actually, that business is right there. Okay. I thought this might lead into another street because some of these do do that. So we're officially sidetracked from Bokaji. But yeah, so Bokaji, he came in 1789. He was here in Macau. Um, maybe fact check me 
make sure I have that right, but it was um, 200 years after Kimoich. And I guess he was quite disenfranchised with the Portuguese Empire. He just kind of found it like not at all what he thought. He thought Goa was going to be like a little Lisbon, but it wasn't like that at all. And it just seemed filled with corruption and um, I guess kind of disillusion. I don't know what he thought about Macau. But that was his general consensus of the Portuguese Empire after going to Brazil, Goa, um, Malacca's. Um, coming up here in Sunsun Park, there's a lot of artwork. So, oh, they're doing a lot of construction too. So the artwork will not be seen today. But in general, this particular one will have this giant mural that will go two stories. But right now they're doing a bunch of stuff in the alley. But they got some other artwork too, so we'll just walk in real quick. But this will have some artwork throughout this alley as well. But I'm not going to go down it because they're pretty active on it right now. Let's get out of here, actually. <laughs> I'll have another one of Bokaje that I've done in the past, and then you can see what this looks like fully. They can see the man right there. You can even see some of the beard. <laughs> and then uh, Sunset Park is straight ahead. So yeah, I thought I'd capture Bokaji Street just because um, I didn't really know the street was named after a poet. So I just learned that recently. So let's walk up to Sunset Park. And then that was actually our target street was right was this whole street down that way but then we also have Sun Sun Park and you have a lot of artwork that's on these uh, Hotel S right here as well. So let's capture that. And that one has some really interesting artwork. So okay, so that was Bukaji. Fluido Bukaji. And we're just kind of walking in Sunset Park for the moment. And we're just going to walk through here. We got some really interesting artwork right there. On our Target Street was right down that way. That's, that, that yellow building is also the, the opium. It used to be an opium museum, now it's just a health clinic. This is walk back down to our target street and then we're gonna end our video. So I don't know, hopefully hopefully a little bit interesting, especially now that I know some history of the Bokaji. Kind of a cool little image there as well. Bokaji Street. So let's send it right there. Documenting the city, seeing what it looks like in 2024. Come on, join me.